penalty here for Chris Barnes though has to deal with the fact that after four very good strikes he's come up with a spare this one's so big and carry all the pins that will put pressure right back on Barnes come on guy well, Whoa. fluent arm swing, he's got in there, and now Guy Kaminsky's winding it up. He wants to make sure that he doesn't get too fired up too early. Yeah. <laughs> A Chris, wry smile from the man that's seen it all. I was just going to say, Chris has seen this all before. But how great a match this is. Guy Kaminsky, well bowled, four strikes in a row, takes the lead. <laughs> Loving every minute. Little smile to Jason Belmonte the 2007 winner who's just a supporting guy in the crowd big ball for Barnes sorry sir Simon big ball no, for Barnes no, is this just gonna say to be fair Belmont is supporting Barnes as well but you know all these players just want to see good bowling out there and that's what they're getting oh great work back comes Superman to yes, this man responding and matching Chris Barnes shot for shot Four strikes in a row for Kaminsky. Three frames standing between him and the World Tempin Masters title and a check for 30,000 US dollars. Good swing. Oh, Great work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get it all. We're going to get it all from Guy Kaminsky now. And uh, Jason Belmonte can barely control himself up there. And probably the most important ball of the whole tournament, this one for Chris. If he doesn't strike. It's a good response. We're going right to the wire here. Well, you don't win the sort of money that Chris Barnes has won over the years on the PBA Tour without being able to deliver exactly what he was required. And uh, another strike for Barnes. He's doubled up. Well, that score from Chris Barnes, that uh, second strike has put the pressure back on to Kaminsky. And once again, he's going to ask the South African the question, can you do it? What a big ball this is for Guy Kaminsky. Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I've never seen Guy or Jackson like this. <laughs> This is just unbelievable. A little bit of luck. He's thrown five strikes in a row and just a little lucky one here. What a great reaction. Hits him thin, makes him spin and over goes the seven pin. This title has got Kaminsky stamped all over it. Well, he's doing, he's doing the right thing. After getting hyped up, he's settling himself down again, having a smile. And this is what it's all about. The World Ten Pin Masters Trophy. Just behind Chris Barnes there. He's had his hands on it once before in 2006. But it's slipping out of his grasp now. Almost a must-strike situation for Barnes. Got it. Simon, what's the odds on a tie? Well, <laughs> I think you get pretty good odds, actually. That's how close it is. Barnes launches it down there for another strike. Oh, this is sensational. Now watch the posturing from Chris Barnes for the final delivery. He's going to pace about a bit. He's going to wander past Guy Kaminsky a few times. And if he does nail that final strike, he'll turn straight round to celebrate and he'll put every single negative thought that he can into his opponent's head. The fact that Chris has doubled in the 10th frame means Guy has got to shoot a strike on at least his first ball in the 10th frame. Not even looking, Guy Kaminsky, just trying to pretend that he's not actually on stage in the World Tempin Masters final with Chris Barnes. This to finish off a great tournament for the American. He's done it. And there goes the celebration. Chris Barnes, a big favourite here with this Barnsley crowd has produced some sensational form at this tournament, but will it be enough? 258 and 259. It's too good. Unbelievable, isn't it? Third 500-plus game in a row for Chris Barnes at this year's tournament. Look at Belmonte 
Well, the tension incredible up there in the players' area. Everybody waiting to see if Guy Kaminsky can do it. Chris Barnes has asked him a very simple question. If you want it, you've got to come and get it. And Kaminsky has to do just that. The South African settles himself down for the biggest three deliveries of his life. Number one's away. And he's got it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Guy Kaminsky with the strike sets himself up for the win. I've never seen a guy like it in my life. He settles himself again. He knows what this means. Goodness me, the pressure is incredible. Let's try to win. If he knocks him over, he's on his way. <laughs> looking at it, he's looking at it. He's got it! He has won, Guy Kaminsky. Oh, he's still got to finish it off. But the title is Guy Kaminsky's. He's been, bought, he's been mobbed by uh, Jason Belmonte and Oscar Palermo. And a big hug as well from Chris Barnes. This is incredible. Guy Kaminsky has waited so long for this. He's bowled across the world. He's entertained across the world. And now, after all these years, Guy Kaminsky is going to get what he deserves. He's going to get a massive title. Guy Kaminsky of South Africa is the world 10-pin Masters champion. Well, Cass Edwards, can you believe it? <laughs> Unbelievable. It couldn't go to a more likeable bowler in the whole world. He's got tears in his eyes. Big hug from Chris. All the players here and all the members of the audience know exactly what this means to Guy. We'll be in for a drink tonight, both you and I, Simon, and it'll be on the, the World Tempin Masters champion. Guy, Guy Kaminsky, Kaminsky beats Chris Barnes 526 to 517 to win the World Tempin Masters title. You've been a victor, I'd say. You've been a victor here before. What's it like to be on the other side of the podium? It's terrible. <laughs> you know, I, I, gave, I gave it everything I had out there today, and Guy, was, he was the better player today. He bowled fantastic. He threw a world-class double in the 10th frame that, you know, very few people in the world ever get a chance to, and, and even fewer ever do. Uh, Guy Kaminsky. I, I made him show up.